National Press presents Flight Path, performed by Gemma Whelan. As dawn broke on his 33rd birthday, paratrooper Darren Kester stormed up Wireless Ridge on East Falkland. It was the last of the three battles he fought on those faraway islands, and when the soft glow of the South Atlantic sun revealed the carnage, he had barely managed to stifle his tears. He always said it was his toughest birthday. He was wrong. His wife's head leant on his shoulder, her chest heaving in quiet misery. The soft sobs of his daughter and son-in-law echoed off the sterile walls, muffling the gentle sounds of the nurses as they moved around the bed. Through blurry eyes, Darren watched shadowed shapes gliding across his vision. He knew, in a detached way, that the room was almost silent. Yet his head was filled with a screaming rage, a roar of blood, thoughts, frustrations, and a desperate desire for revenge thundered inside him. As a nurse moved past the window, the curtains swayed, and the briefest of glints from the rising sun shone through. It caught the swirling dust motes, twisting them in a soft yellow lance of light that flashed across the length of the room, like a heavenly scepter. Its point came to rest on her soft face. The sudden light cast a warming glow, gentle and reviving, but her eyes remained closed, her heart still. The curtain swayed back into place and the light was gone. Its sudden removal breached the last of the old soldier's defences. Tears streamed down the former company sergeant major's stubbled cheeks, dripping unheeded as the room fell back into darkness. On the dawn of his sixty-sixth birthday, Darren Kester wept for the soul of his seven-year-old granddaughter. Chapter 1 Camden, London, Wednesday, 18th of November Finishing her tea and toast, Cara picked up her phone and dialed the first number on her favourites list. It rang three times. Hi, what's up? Tien asked. Want to go for a run now and keep it short? Yep, I'll be there in five. The call disconnected, and Kara hustled to get changed. As she was lacing up her running shoes, she smiled at the thought of her friend. Never one to enjoy long runs, Kara's offer of a shortened effort would certainly have pleased Tien, but that wasn't what made Kara smile. The two of them had an instinctive awareness of each other. Tien had known it was more than a shortened run. She had known something significant had occurred, but shut down her requirement to ask anything about it. There was no, why, what's going on, is everything all right, on the phone, just an acceptance and confirmation. It was true they had been partners for a long time, but they had always had an intuitive link. Kara could clearly recall their first brief meeting, when what looked like a walking Bergen had come through the flaps of a tent pitched on the edge of Basra Airport. It was February 2006. Southern Iraq was pleasantly warm, but the dust was being whipped about in strong winds, assisted by the jets and propellers of a seemingly constant stream of aircraft arrivals and departures. Out of this swirling yellow maelstrom appeared a lightly built, delicately featured girl, with the rank of Lance Corporal and a look of nervous determination. Kara had almost laughed at the size of the rucksack she had been lumbered with. You must be our little helper, sent over from the Int Corps. Yes, Sergeant. Well, thanks for being volunteered. I'm Sergeant Kara Wright, but you get to call me Kara. This, Kara pointed to the woman sitting at a desk just behind her, is Lieutenant Commander Victoria Oxford. You get to call her Ma'am or Lieutenant Commander Oxford. All good? Yes, sir. I mean, Kara. Great, dump your gear and grab a brew. I'll take you through what you're going to be doing for us. What's your name? I'm Lance Corporal Tien Tran, and given the ranks in here, I guess you can call me whatever you want. Hi, thanks for watching. We hope you're enjoying our interviews and book readings. And if you are, please leave us a comment. Tell us what your favourite book genres are. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll never miss out on any new content as soon as we post it.